Hey guys, what we got today is actually nothing that's uh, nothing to do on a how-to or a life hack or anything stupid like that. Uh, but what we got today is actually a, uh, something that we really enjoy and enjoy having is a, is a water cooler. I know that sounds really odd, um, <clears throat> but it's something that we kind of uh, really go out of our way to make sure we constantly have. Uh, we're obviously here in West Texas where we don't have the, uh, the cleanest water, the best water. Uh, we do pretty pretty well, but we, what we originally had was... Uh, <clears throat> We had an old spigot here that was came out of the faucet. We went ahead and put a uh, soap <clears throat> dispenser in there just because we were tired of it. But underneath it, we had a uh, old Colligan system, and uh, you know you pay paid a monthly fee on that and stuff. And uh, when we got to purchase the house, they had uh, cut that line, and so we didn't want to uh, have that anymore. So we did have a, a, a guy come out here and kind of give us a quote uh, to do one of those. Typically, we ran about twelve hundred bucks, um, and we thought, wow, you know, there's no way we're gonna pay that kind of money just for some. Uh, some some filtered water uh so we, we decided to do is go back to what we've always known and that's the water coolers um especially these days they do that reverse osmosis that's really well done at all these little uh twice the ice places you see all those everywhere a couple other ones we got <clears throat> what we call windmills out here and uh when we had the water guy come out here uh, not only did it cost 1200 bucks but it cost it was five it was 200 some odd bucks to constantly have them come out here once a year or so to, to change these filters and do this uh, each filter had its own little lifespan and we just didn't really want to deal with that and you know we thought we're filling up five gallon water jugs for a dollar um, and so when he was actually out here he ran and had his little water meters and what it is it calculate the hard solids and all the uh, the heavy metals that are in there and what he found out was that our faucet water that came out of that faucet actually came in at a it was about 347 if i recall give or take um parts per million is uh, what i everything that i remember them talking about um and that seemed pretty high but he said that's pretty uh pretty average a lot of stuff out here in west texas uh we've heard in six seven hundreds um and this is the stuff that, that you don't want in your body um you know i'm not one of those uh, that constantly has to drink out of a bottle of water or anything like that but uh, i do enjoy having some clean water so funny thing is is when he was actually out here we made we took a little sample from uh, the filtered water that we get from the uh, water stations and it actually came in at 17. Uh, talk about a low number there 17. the the filters that he was going to install he said you know he can't really compete against that that was going to run about 12 is kind of 12 to 15 was the range that they kind of shoot for and i thought what in the hell are we going to spend that kind of money for so uh, the, my next video about our water cooler would be how to actually flip. Uh, we used to have a top loader, and uh, I tell you what, we got tired of making a mess. Of course, I was too cheap to always go out and buy one of the uh, stupid caps that uh, they, they do have some caps that go screw on, uh, screw on or pop on there that'll allow you to flip it upside down and not not spill any water anywhere. But uh, we'll have a fun little life hack if you're cheap like me and uh, we'll show you how to flip it and not make too much of a mess. Uh, that'll be a, a video for another day though. Uh, but I'll show you a quick uh, setup that we have is we got the Primo, we've got hot, uh, room temperature, and uh, cold. Of course, we did get the stainless steel one to kind of match up in the kitchen a little bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so inside there, what, all we do is we just take our five gallon jugs. So uh, we're getting uh, a little less than halfway here. But uh, yeah, we just pull it out like so. This usually pops right on out. And you can see the water actually going up through the pipe right now. It's leaking back into the jug. When you actually put that back on there like, like so, <clears throat> as soon as you do that, it automatically senses that it needs water in, up here to start cooling. So it's gonna automatically start sucking it up through there and uh, cooling it off as we go. So yeah, so, of course when you get done, you just kind of toss it back in there shut it up and there you go um, like I said we get instant hot instant cold uh, we really enjoy it and uh, like I said nothing uh, that, that was too fun or or a cool video today just something that we really like to patronize and use and uh, hope you guys uh, take any any information away from it today so I uh, hope you guys enjoy today and uh, we'll see you in another one see you guys